<laughs> Welcome back Maple Glen students and all of the students from Upper Dublin. Uh, today we are going, actually today, it's a special day. Today is the very last art assignment of the school year. So we made it guys, this is it. Last one, let's do it. Let's have a, a strong finish. Um, what we're gonna make today is we're gonna make something called an exquisite corpse. And this is a project you'll need some help. Not because it's difficult or hard, not because it's something you can't do or it's dangerous or anything like that, just because you need more, and it's a game. And when you play games with people, uh, you need usually need more than one player to play a game. And this game is what it's called an exquisite corpse. And it's when you start drawing something, draw a picture, and then you give the paper to someone else so they can continue the drawing. And then you can pass the paper to someone else again, and they can keep drawing. And you can pass it again to someone else, and they can keep drawing. And you can but keep you can. passing it to them. Yeah, you could do it two different ways. You can do it where you're looking at what the other person drew and then you're just adding to it. Or you can do it the way we like to play, which is you don't see what the other person drew. You just add to it, which I'll, I'll explain that in just a second. That's the fun way. Uh, and it's called an exquisite corpse and it was invented by the surrealist artists from the early 20th century. It was just a game they made up just to kind of like um, be more creative, to think of more creative things that they can draw together. Um, and it's a fun game. So I did this before with my family, Charlie and my wife and Julia and my son Sean. We all made an exquisite corpse. We actually made two. So we're going to show you those right now. And then I'm going to show you how you can make an exquisite corpse too. One of them we did just us two. I think it was that one. Oh, really? Oh. This one we did with Okay. Them. So the first one I'm going to show you is, this is the one that my whole family made. So how it works is this. Okay. You get a square piece of paper. Just one piece. And you start the drawing. You start something on this piece of paper. And then the next person gets another square and they continue the drawing, kind of like this. First drawing's on here. Second drawing will go below it and attach. And then someone will make a third drawing down here and it can keep going and keep going as long as you want it to grow. You can, you're gonna see this one's really long. So this is the one my whole family made. Remember this one? So this is the drawing I made. I made like a little peanut guy. <laughs> <laughs> little peanut man. And then the next person drew, what, popcorn? That's me. I that was you. And then the third person made, I think that's me again. Yeah. Turtle shell. And then the next person I... Mom. Was that... Okay, that was Mommy. She made like an abstract design. It doesn't have to be something that looks like something. And yeah, then Julia. Julia made a flower. And then I think that was me again. Yeah. Made like a funnel. Like a... Like, a twisty funnel. And then my son Sean made a... Pig. pig standing Sideways. like doing a headstand. And then you had the last piece and it was like a dress. And I always say the last part can be standing on some sort of surface ground or surface, but whoa, baby, look at that. That's a long, exquisite corpse, okay? And you can, cool thing is you can tape them on the back and fold them up. We had them on display for a while. So this is the next one. This is the one uh, you and I did? Yeah, this, the fourth one we ever made. I don't know what that is, like a cute little <laughs> I don't know, gumdrop guy. With a a gumdrop gun drop girl. She's a little bow. And you see this one. The ice cream. Mm -hmm. A pot. A dress. And you see how it all connects I into like one this. huge, surreal, strange for sure, different drawing. Let me hold it back so you can see. It's and really different. It like goes to two to like a little bit purple. I like the pancakes. That's the cool part. Cause yeah, I that's my it. favorite. <laughs> I like your ice cream. The drippy ice cream. That was you pretty cool. Well, I added the drips, but you added the ice cream below it. Yeah. 
And you might be wondering, like, well, how does it all connect? It looks like it's one creature. It connects, like the whole drawing connects. I'll show you that now. But I love making these because, again, like I said before, they do fold up, which is really neat. You can, I'll put them over there. But here's how it works. So you can use anything you want for this. I have everything out. I have crowns. I have muckers. I have watercolor set. I have these like oil pastel sticks that are really great for adding color. Markles. More markers. Tiny markers. Pencils. I usually start with pencil, then I go over to yeah. Sharpie first. No, no, we don't I really need those. So, cool. so I start with my square. She doesn't start yet, so she can kind of do something else while I'm drawing. Like she doesn't even have to be here. Um, but usually when you play the way we play is that the person who's going to get it doesn't know what I'm going to do. In fact, I might send, on, send her on a little journey to find me a really good Sharpie. You know the thicker Sharpies? The ones that are thicker than this? I can you do find one for me? Well, I'm going to start a pencil. I'm going to start a drawing. And it's going to be the top, so I'm thinking like head, some sort of head. And can you do me a favor and just find a Sharpie for me while I'm drawing? Yeah. Okay? Oh, yeah. All right. Oh, yeah. Thick. Thick. We'll be back in a minute. Okay, everyone. Before I call Charlie back, I just want to show you what I had to do so she knows where to start on her part of the drawing. So what I made since I started the drawings, I made this. I don't want her to see it. Can you see that? Let me hold it up this way. Okay, all right. So she has no idea what I drew, and I don't want her to know, and it's not about guessing what I drew. The fun part is when you're completely done making an exquisite corpse is the reveal, is when everyone sees the whole thing, okay? So this is what I drew, and I used some pencil, Sharpie, crowns, and watercolor. Watercolor for the background. And then what I needed to do for her piece is I had to make some, you can see, I had to make some lines where she can start from. And she'll do the same thing at the bottom of hers and onto the next piece of paper. So she's gonna get this piece and she's gonna to have to come up with her own picture, her own design that starts from those marks. And it can be anything she wants, okay? So Charlie's gonna come back. I'm gonna hide this one. All right, Charlie. This is what you get. She's got some marks at the top. So can make sure it goes all the way to the bottom. So she can have a pencil and she'll go over it in Sharpie, that's optional. Uh, and then you can color it. I'm just letting you know that I colored the whole thing with crowns and watercolor. So that's her job now. So I'm gonna disappear because it's her turn to draw. Okay, see you in a little bit. Good luck. <laughs> I know. <laughs> nice. Are we done? Yeah. All right, we'll go hide. Well, did you make marks in the new piece of paper? Yeah. You did. Oh my goodness. Look at the small marks I'm getting on this one. So she's done her drawing. And she's going to hide it somewhere over there. Anywhere you want, Charlie. Hide it. I don't want to look at it. And then I got, I got this one. I don't know if you can see it. Look at the tiny marks that she's giving me. I have no idea what she drew, but that's the marks I'm getting. So, time for me to draw. So I'm gonna start from those little marks. And this is my second drawing. I got a funny idea. All right, see you in a little bit. Okay, so, no coming yet. I'm gonna show the camera. So I did my next drawing from the little, remember those little lines that she gave me? Well, that's what I made from those little marks at the top. You can see what I kind of made. And then she's gonna make one more. We're only gonna make a small exquisite corpse this time. It's not gonna be really long like the other ones, but I gave her da -da -da -da, those marks, if you can see them on the top of this square. So this is what she's getting. And I'm gonna tell her it's the last one too. So if she wants to make some sort of bottom to it, that'd be cool. So she's gonna get this one. I'm gonna hide this one. Charlie, you can come in. And 
This will be our last one. And after she's done this one and makes it all colorful and cool, then we're gonna put it all together for the big reveal. Okay, ready? Here are the ones you have. A little like last time, kind of like last time, but anything you want. She's got pencils, she's got markers, anything she wants. You can go. Uh, we finished. So, yep, we finished. So how'd it go? Good. Okay, we're gonna do the big reveal now. So I'm gonna get my drawings out. You're gonna get your drawings out. And I got some tape. We're gonna flip them over and we'll tape it together first and we'll flip it over and show them. Okay, so go grab your pieces. Mine are right here. And we gotta put them in order. Upside down though. Let me put your first, your first really one. Tiny Is this one. your first one? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Alright, so they're kind of wet still from the watercolor, but I'm gonna to try to tape them anyway. That's pretty good. Oh look, we use kind of like the same colors on some of them. Did we? Yeah. Because yeah. I try to make that one like a sunset. Oh, that's kind of kind of like rainbow. Look. Right, right, so what I'm doing right now is I'm putting pieces of tape on the back of the paper. I have them flipped over right now. Kind of like what I did. Like on this one, I taped them on the back. I remember that one. They're taped on the back, like between the seams, okay? And you can, it's cool because you can fold them up that way too. Um, so I'm taping them together now. This is a small one. The other one we did, those two we did the other day, or well, the other day, that was a long time ago. We did those a couple weeks ago. We were playing this game. Um, the two, uh, they're, so those two are really long. This one's a lot shorter. I'm not happy with the top. I, I wish I could do that one over. It Why? It just it looks, looks good. stupid. I don't know. We'll see. You like it? Yeah. Right. <laughs> it's cute. All right, so. You ready? Let's do a drum roll, me and you. Let me hold it close to the camera. I did a pencil for a second one. This is like a beaker filled with liquid, that one I did, if you don't know what that is. Oh yeah, you did a squirrel on the tree, and I did kind of like a squirrel head. Did you know that? Well, this is kind of like a chipmunk squirrel type thing. So weird. I thought weird. that was a tiger. A tiger? <laughs> <laughs> she thought it was a tiger. Um, it does look kind of like a tiger. Wait, look, it's rainbow, red, orange, yellow, green. Okay, so this is called an exquisite corpse. They're fun to make. Just cut yourself some squares. Like, look at all the extra squares we have. We can make another one if we wanted to and Bob the whole family. And everyone gets a little square to draw on. Just make sure that you give them the next square with some marks so they know where to start if you want it all to connect. Do, do, do. Exquisite corpses. Or corpse, or I don't know the plural form of that, but an exquisite corpse created by the surrealist artists from the early 20th century. Very cool. Did you have fun doing this one? Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's fun. Okay, exquisite corpse. See you guys. Bye. Did you have fun doing it? Yeah. Yeah, you're gonna have me clean up. Put, you put the crown away. Thank you.